decades ago, a mother walked her children home from the Wahiwa Botanical Gardens and decided to take a shortcut through a gulch. She kept her children close, but realized one of them was missing. The frantic mother searched and asked her other children where their missing sibling was, but they didn't know. Friends and family gathered to find the child, but they failed. The mother never recovered from losing her child. Children at a nearby elementary school talked about the latest comic book movie or watched funny videos on their mobile devices, but they avoided looking into the Wahiwa foliage because they might see her. She is Hawaii's Green Lady of Wahiwa, and this is Legends from the Pacific. Aloha, and thank you for joining us. This is Legends from the Pacific, episode 36, Hawaii's Green Lady of Wahiwa. I am Kamuala Kanashiro, a professional writer, speaker, and Comic-Con panelist with extensive film and television experience. I study mythology, I encounter unusual things, and I'm a geek. You can support us by getting two or three of your friends to listen to our show. Also, enjoy an extra story about my experience with a faceless ghost by joining our email list today. Later in this episode, your featured song, Hawaiian Word, and three new stories about my paranormal experiences. But first, the Green Lady of Wahiwa. Located on the island of Oahu is Wahiwa. Now, it's unclear when the Green Lady started. Witnesses have seen her in the Botanical Gardens area and at the elementary school. Some websites connected the Green Lady to the Japanese Kappa. However, I feel this is incorrect since the Green Lady is a ghost and the Kappa is a creature. While the Green Lady's story varies, the constant items are the Botanical Gardens and sometimes the elementary school. But I'd like to point out these places could have been added after they were established, meaning the Green Lady story could predate these landmarks. The Green Lady looks like a woman made up of moss and leaves. I'm envisioning a female version of Swamp Thing, but less friendly and more terrifying. Some stories claim she has seaweed, but that doesn't seem to match and conjures another entity known as the Limu Lady. Limu is Hawaiian for edible underwater plants, which includes seaweed. So, the Limu Lady is known as the Seaweed Lady. She has seaweed all over her body and two white dogs. So, appearance-wise, she's the ocean version of the Green Lady, which begs the question... Could there be a connection between these two ghosts? Unlike the Limu Lady, the Green Lady was known for stealing children. It's implied she steals children believing they are her missing child. But the Green Lady could be a cautionary tale to prevent children from running off like our past Legends episodes about the Baba Yaga, Rangda, and the Aboriginal Bunyip. Still to come, your featured song, Hawaiian Word, and three brand new stories about my paranormal experiences, but now, a story. The following is a Legends from the Pacific original story and is based on collected testimony.
a group of talkative boys approached a tree, but silenced upon seeing a flowing stream where they heard someone saw the green lady. The boys clustered together and dared each other to step closer to the water. When one did, the collective proved they weren't scared by huddling around their brave member. They remained quiet, hoping the others would forget they were there, so they wouldn't be dared to take the next step. The cluster advanced from seeing the stream to hearing its bubbling and feeling the mud squish beneath their slippers. The air was heavy, like a looming presence was just out of view. The boys' heightened anxiety turned their voices into high-pitched whispers. Ambient sounds twitched their ears and tugged their faces as they dreaded seeing the green lady. One of them screamed, starting a chain reaction of screaming that led to scurrying as they grabbed each other to prevent being the last kid who she'd snatch up. Near the tree where they began, one of them looked back. His terror-filled scream stopped the others. They looked back, and on the other side of the river, the green lady reached for them. The boys ran with a speed they never knew back to civilization, embracing the sights of cars, people, and buildings. Promises were made not to tell their parents where they were. A couple boys cried, but instead of being teased, they were comforted by the others and praised for their bravery. The friends lingered until it was time to go home for dinner. Coming up, your featured song, Hawaiian Word, and three brand new stories of my paranormal experiences. Today, the Green Lady of Wahiwa remains a beloved entity. Witnesses still claim to see her, and she was mentioned in an episode of the recent Hawaii 5 If you like what you heard, please give us a rating, write a review, and share Legends from the Pacific with your friends and family. Join our email list to download my encounter with Wailai Drive-In's Faceless Ghost. As promised, I have released three brand new original episodes of my paranormal experiences just in time for Halloween. Like my Mujina story, these stories have not been shared on Legends from the Pacific. Two of them involve what people feel was my encounter with the goddess of fire, Pele. The third story involves several times I've encountered the Night Marchers. Now, people always ask why our episodes are not longer. Believe me, I'd love to make longer episodes, but one episode takes 20 hours to produce. That's 20 hours of work per week for an episode less than 13 minutes. And those 20 hours double for our longer episodes like Kamehameha and Ka'ahumanu. However, I believe we can get longer episodes by hiring research assistants and other crew. You can help us accomplish this by becoming a Patreon subscriber. Our Patreon subscribers will score exclusive items, special deals, along with the ability to influence future episodes and join me on the podcast. To start things off with our Patreon page, our latest three episodes of my paranormal experiences are exclusive for our Patreon subscribers. So support our show by becoming a Patreon subscriber and enjoy these three brand new episodes today. Our theme song is Mystery by Tavana, courtesy of High Sessions. Sound effects are by Sound Effects Factory, Our music coordinator is Matt Duffy, a.k.a. DJ Triple Bypass. Links and show notes can be found on our website, legendsfromthepacific.com, including a link to your featured song, which is He Makana No Oi by Kapala, courtesy of High Sessions. 
Legends from the Pacific was written, produced, and edited by me, Kamuela Kanashiro. I also wrote our original stories. Your featured Hawaiian word is avava. Avava means valley or gulch. An example of avava is the University of Hawaii at Manoa is in Manoa Avava. Once again, avava is Hawaiian for valley or gulch. Thank you once again for listening. Mahalo and ahui ho. Ahui ho, ahui ho.